So let's say you've plotted your data and you think that the data fits a curve of the form y equals ax to the n. Now you don't know what a and n are, okay? You don't know those values. Uh, but in order to get there, to estimate those values, what we're going to do is we are going to use reduction to linear form. We're going to reduce this to linear form using logarithms. So what we do is we take logarithms of both sides. Okay. Now, theoretically, you could use logarithms of uh, any base here. Now, traditionally, well, these, for these types of problems, we usually take log base 10. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be working with in these videos. So if we take log base 10 of the left hand side and log base 10 of the right hand side, like so, what we can now do with the right hand side is break it apart using our log laws. So we know that this will be equal to log base 10 of A plus log base 10 of x to the n. Now we can also use a log law here to bring the n down to the front of the log. Ooh. There we go, n log 10x. Okay, now if we think back to this original curve equation here, x and y are variables, okay? They are, on our graph, the horizontal and vertical axis. The a and the n are constant. They're constants, okay? They remain fixed. Now, even though we don't know what they are, they remain fixed, okay? And they behave like fixed elements. Now here, because x and y were variables, log 10x and log 10y are the variables. The n is still a constant, log 10a is just a constant. Because if a is just a number, log 10a is just a number. Okay? So, what you could then think about is saying, well, I could say that log 10y, I could replace that and say, let y, capital Y, be log 10y. Okay? And I could also say log 10x as being capital X. Okay? Now, log 10a, okay? Well, let's just write down what we've got now. Like that, right? Now, if I reorder these, okay, so I'm just going to swap these round. Like so. All I've done is reorder them. This is just a number, okay? Because it's a constant, it's just a number. So what I could do is I could replace n with the letter m. And because log 10a is just a number, I could replace that with another number, c, or another letter to replace it. So I get y equals mx plus c. And this is a straight line equation for a new set of data points where x is the horizontal axis, capital X is the horizontal axis, and capital Y is the vertical axis. Now, if I'd gone through this process, and now if I plot the new points based on that, okay, so you would have your x's, y's, log 10x's, log 10y's, and if I plotted log 10x against log 10y on this graph, if it came across as a straight line, I could then estimate a value for m and a value for c. Okay, so that is how we go through this process of reducing.